Table how to generate captions for your videos using Canva. And best of all, this tool is completely free. You don't even have to have created your video in Canva. You can make your video in DaVinci Resolve, Premiere, or any other video editing tool. So let's check it out. I'm here in Canva. I'll create a new project for a video. I'll press Create. I'll choose Videos. And I'll choose Video Landscape because that's the orientation and resolution of my video. Now, if your video is on your computer, you can click Uploads, and then you can upload the file. I already did that with my video, so I'll just click it here. From here, making the captions is quite easy. With my video selected, I'll click on text over here on the left. Now I'll scroll down and I'll press captions. And then I'll press generate captions. And now you can see as I click through my video, there's captions for it. So let's play it and see how it works. Want to take a screenshot in Windows, but not sure which keys to use? In this video, I'll show you the fastest and easiest ways to capture your screen. Now, inevitably, some of the captions will be incorrect, so you should always double check them and fix if necessary. To edit the captions, click on the caption in your document here, then click the word captions over here. Now, if you scroll through, you can see the transcript. So if there's something you want to change, just click on it, change the text, and it will be reflected in your captions here. Now, unfortunately, there's no way to control the timing of the captions, but if you want to fix the individual words, you can do it through this screen here. We can also customize the style and position of our captions. Now, by default, all the captions will be in one group. So any change we make to one caption will affect all the captions. Let's look at how this works, and then I'll show you how to customize the captions individually. To change the captions in bulk, just click on one of them. And then we have some options up here on how we want to change it. I'll change the font. Let's change it to League Spartan. Let's make the size bigger. I'll click these pluses. I'll make the color of the words yellow. So I'll click on this text color here. Let's choose this color wheel. And I'll make it yellow. Now I also want to change the background color. To do that, I'll click Effects. And if I scroll down, background is enabled here. It's this semi-transparent gray color by default, but I want to make it pure black. So I'll dial up the transparency. I can make it something else if I liked. Blue, purple. Let's actually make it a dark purple. I'll select this violet. And there's some other options here for the roundness of the background and how thick it is. And then when you're done, you can close this. And this is what my captions look like now. Now, if I click on a caption, I can also drag and reposition it. But unfortunately, this changes the position of all the captions. Let's look at how we can control the captions individually. Let me move this back to the original spot. Now, with my captions selected, I'll click this word position here. And this pop-up comes up on the left. I'll press layers. And now I can see this group here. This is all my captions grouped together. So what I can do is I can right-click on it. And then I can say ungroup. And now what you notice is if I scroll down, these are all my separate captions. And this is exactly how we can customize them individually. So I'll scroll through my video here. And let's say I want to change this caption here. I'll click on it. Now it's individual. I can move it up here. Let's change the color of the text. Let's make it black. Let's make the background color yellow. I'll click effects. I'll select the background color. Let's make it yellow. Now if I play through from the part right before it, let's play this. To do this, just press print screen by itself. So I'll press print screen. Now up top, you can see I have these options here. And then you can see we had that one subtitle that was customized. So if I scroll back again, we had this yellow and purple text. Then I positioned it up top. And then as I scrolled through, it went back to the bottom again. And you can keep customizing each line as you like. One trick you can do to speed it up is to click position again. Find that one you changed. Let's scroll down here. This was the one I changed. If I right click, and I select copy style. If I click on another element, it will change that one too. So if I click on this, now that style is applied to that. That's one quick way you can copy styles around. Now I do have a couple of tips for using this tool. First, I recommend making sure your video is fully edited before you add the subtitles. As you can see, there's currently no way to change the timing of the subtitles. So if you're still cutting your video footage, generating new subtitles in the middle of all that, it's kind of a pain. Also, if you just have a few words you wanna add here and there to your video, I don't recommend using the subtitle tool. It's probably easier just to use the normal text tool and copy it as needed. For example, you can click the text icon here. You can say add text box. I'll type in some text. I'll customize it. Just change the font, change the color, change the background. In the timeline here, I can easily adjust the duration. I'm holding control and zoom. I'll click this, drag it over. I'll put this where I want. I have my text here. Then if later I want to use it again, I'll just hold Alt, click and drag to copy. I'll move it later in the timeline. Maybe I want it here. 
And I can just put my new text here. So that's a way to flexibly add just a few subtitles. If you have any Canva topics you want to see covered in a video, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.